Diphtheria is a severe bacterial infection caused by the bacteria Cornobacterium diphtheriae, a $5 word that you can feel free to send me a check payable to my name. But this bacteria is the stuff that makes science fiction books or movies amazing because this bacteria by itself isn't that bad. It has to be infected with a virus. The virus then goes into the bacteria, inserts its genetic DNA into the bacteria's DNA and allows it to produce a toxin, which is what really produces the severity of the disease. Now, this was actually a disease that was fairly common in the early 1900s, and especially before that. It was spread through respiratory droplets that then the bacteria would multiply and grow in the mucosal membranes of our nose, throat, and our respiratory tract. Back then, it would typically cause between 200,000 and 400,000 infections and led to about 13,000 to 15,000 deaths per year. Since the vaccine, that has dropped precipitously. Now, the symptoms of the disease depended on which mucous membrane it infected. If it infected the nose, it was very mild, just symptoms of a cold. But the most common place it liked to get was our tonsils and throat, and also our respiratory tract at the level of our vocal cords. If it happened there, it could become very severe. You could have some cold symptoms, cough, some high fever, but then about two to three days into it, it'd start to develop this mucousy, slimy membrane that was kind of a whitish blue color, where it could typically choke you to death. But that's a little simplistic, but it also produced a toxin that if allowed to get into our bloodstream, could cause severe illness, high fever, stupor, coma, and death. Now, prior to the vaccine, if a normal person got diphtheria, about 5 to 10% would actually die. But if you were a child, less than 5, that mortality rate went up to about 20%. Now, this vaccine's been around since the 1940s or so, and it's given usually in combination with tetanus and whooping cough. It's usually given at 2 months, 4 months, 6 months, between 12 and 15 months. It's then given as a booster between four and six years of age, 11 to 12 years of age, and then every 10 years afterwards. Contraindications are few, mainly just if you have a moderate to severe illness or if you have a history of an allergic reaction to a component of the vaccine. Side effects are fairly common with some pain or swelling at the injection site, maybe some low grade fever and just kind of feeling fatigued. These are usually taken care of with an ice cube wrapped in a paper towel or washcloth and applied to the site, or some Tylenol or Motrin if you're having any pain or low-grade fever.